The following portion of Good Day PA is sponsored by Wellspan Health. If you have atrial fibrillation or AFib, there is something you need to know about pulsed field ablation. Unlike traditional ablations, this uses short bursts of high energy electrical impulses, and those bursts let doctors treat only the part of the heart that needs fixed. We're learning more about AFib and ablation therapy today. Dr. Matthew Singleton with Wellspan Cardiology is with me. Start by just explaining what AFib is. Thanks, Amy. So AFib is an arrhythmia, which means it's an electrical malfunction of the heart. So normally the way the heart works is it beats strongly and regularly and sends the blood to all the parts of the body. When you're in AFib, you have an electrical malfunction that causes irregular erratic behavior of the heart, and that causes people to feel worse and have worse outcomes. And really, how is that affecting the patient? Well, there's two aspects to how it affects the patient. One is symptoms, and that's people feel palpitations, they feel shortness of breath, they feel fatigue. But the real sinister part of atrial fibrillation is if you think of AFib as an iceberg, it's the 90% that's underneath the surface that's dangerous. And if you have two people, one who has AFib and one doesn't, the people who have AFib have triple the risk of heart failure, five times the risk of stroke, and two times the risk of dying compared to those who don't. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's it, awful. That's it's, awful to think about. And we're talking about ablation therapy. Can you explain what is ablation and then there's post field ablation, like how is that different? Exactly, so an ablation is source control or getting at the root cause of atrial fibrillation. So when you have an arrhythmia like AFib, it's because there's misbehaving cells at the back of the heart. An ablation is a procedure where a doctor, a heart rhythm specialist, puts a catheter in through your thigh vein goes up to the part of the heart where the mischief happens and inactivates those cells to keep people from going into AFib anymore. Mm. Historically, we used thermal energy like heat or cold to fix the AFib problem. Now, as of early 2024, a totally new way of doing it has emerged called PFA or pulse field ablation. And the prior ablations, they worked pretty well. The only problem was every now and then we would have a complication from collateral damage to adjacent organs. Sure. But now with PFA, Heart cells are exquisitely sensitive to electrical fields, and we've capitalized on that by using this catheter that only affects the heart cells without any risk of damage to adjacent organs. So wow. it's the same effectiveness, but more safe than ever before. Oh my gosh, that's incredible, right? It's really Is exciting. it for everybody? It's for people who have atrial fibrillation. But you don't have to have a certain kind of condition. Like anybody is eligible with, a with AFib is for eligible the, for this if they need ablation. For the most part, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. For the most part, yeah, provided you have atrial fibrillation, if you need an ablation, PFA is generally the standard of care now, by now this point in 2024. That's terrific. If someone would like more information or maybe they've been diagnosed with AFib, how do they get more information? I think if you Google cardiac electrophysiologist near me, you can find an AFib specialist who can talk to you about options for ablation, and we do a lot of them here at Wellspan. In fact, we were the first in the state of Pennsylvania to offer this therapy to our patients. Wow, that's remarkable. Technology really is exciting. incredible. It's incredible. It's an exciting time to be taking care of patients with atrial fibrillation. Wow. <laughs> that sounds funny to say, right? It's an odd thing, but wow, it is exciting. Thank you for being with us. Thanks it's so much for having me. It's good to have you. Me. You're welcome. The previous portion of Good Day PA was sponsored by Wellspan Health.